Welcome to Things You Should Know, The Great War. Today we're going to talk about the Battle of Festubert, located south of Neuve Chapelle, France. Commanding these forces are two returning leaders. The first was British Commander Douglas Haig with six British divisions, comprising of more than 16,648 British soldiers. They're facing off the German Crown Prince Rupert and his three divisions of 5,000 men. The battle happened from May 15th to the 25th. 1915. Learning their lessons from the Battle of Aubers Ridge, the British tactics had changed. Instead of conducting quick artillery attacks and then advancing infantry with unlimited objectives, the British took the same practice of a slow and deliberate artillery fire to prepare for the infantry. This would result in what most people know and have heard of about the artillery of World War I. As a way to relieve the sting of defeat from Aubers Ridge, British command planned a heavy artillery bombardment that would continue for three or more days against the German positions. The idea was to demolish German machine gun nests, remove the barbed wire, and to grind the Germans down in a battle of attrition. This was the first battle for the British in World War I that the goals were smaller. To capture parts of the closest German positions, some of which were only 1,000 yards away, and to just grind the Germans in a hamburger if they could. This area of attrition was planned by British First Army Commander General Sir Douglas Haig to strike the Germans between Noave Chapelle to the north and a very tiny village called Festubert in the south. The initial troops planned would be comprised mostly of Indian troops with support from British troops. The actual bombardment started on May 12th and ended on May 15th and lasted more than 60 hours as more than 430 British artillery pieces fired more than 100,000 shells. The result was insignificant damage. The Germans were relatively unharmed and waited for the British to arrive. The British 6th Brigade was the only infantry unit to make any sort of gains at the beginning of the attack, and only when the weather was good. The British troops had relented on their initial advance to wait out the weather. At 3.15pm on May 16th, the British began to push forward again as the rain cleared. This time, additional forces from the British 7th Division were helping with the attack. Once again, the British were stopped after a short gain and were stuck in their places with heavy casualties. On May 17th, the British tried yet again and were once again unable to dislodge the German defenders. One last set of attacks was attempted on May 18th as the 1st Canadian Division and 51st Highland Division pushed even harder, but they were stopped by the German artillery that was waiting for them. As the heavy rain fell, the British dug in at their new positions and allowed the Germans respite enough to bring up more reinforcements and yet again strengthened their defenses. From May 20th to the 25th, a constant assault in the German lines by the British only served to increase their losses. By the end of the battle, the British had only been able to move forward a few kilometers. Over the entire period, the British lost more than 16,000 men, consisting of the 2nd Division losing 5,445 or more, the 7th Division losing at least 4,123, the 47th Division lost at least 2,355. The 1st Canadian Division lost more than 2,204. And finally, the 7th Meerut Division had lost 2,521 men. The Germans themselves had lost approximately 5,000 men in total, including 800 that were taken prisoner. Join us again next time on Things You Should Know, The Great War.